So the other day I was working on a mix and I made a big mistake that I didn't even realize I had made at first. And it basically made the next hour or so of my life a nightmare because I could not find where the problem was in this track. So let's see if you guys can identify what problem is happening here. So I have this track here. This is not the track that I was mixing at the time, but I just brought this up to show you an example. The mistake I made was in my mix bus processing, so it affected everything and it caused a really big problem for me for, like I said, it took me a while to figure it out. So I basically recreated that same problem in this track to show you guys. Let's see if you can identify what the problem is here. If you said phase cancellation, you would be absolutely correct. So I just brought these up to recreate the problem here, but this is an EQ that I use very often on my mix bus. And what must have happened was on the first mix, I must have thought that it needed some more top end. So I boosted, I did a high shelf at 2.5K. And then I came back the next day to try to check it with fresh ears. And then at that point I must have decided, you know what, the mix is a little too bright overall. So I went to make the mix a little bit darker. I went to take a little bit of top end off of the mix. And I already had this EQ open and I saw, oh, I already have the top frequency engaged. So I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna open up another instance of this plugin and I'll take out some high end there. So I did a high shelf and I cut at 5K. And that, that was probably the issue there was that I did not bother to look at what this EQ move was when I opened the EQ up. I just thought, oh, hey, the mix is too bright. I got to take out some top end. So I, I made another one. But if you see what the problem is here, basically what that EQ is now doing is this. So we have a boost and a cut in exact opposite directions covering most of the same frequencies. So this was a really great reminder for me that EQ works by manipulating phase. And I basically introduced phase problems into this track by boosting and cutting the same frequencies in opposite directions with the same EQ, no less. So I opened up the session. I thought, hey, it's a little too bright. Tried to make it darker. And from that point on in the mix, everything just sounded a little off. And I just could not figure out why, because again, stupidly, I didn't look at what that EQ move was actually doing before I went to counteract it. I should have looked at that and been like, oh, I'm boosting the top end and just cut it instead, but I didn't. So let's listen again. The thing with phase problems, especially in the top end here, it's very disorienting. Like if you put headphones on right now and listen to this, this is a very disorienting sound. It basically just makes everything sound wrong, but you can't tell why everything sounds wrong. So I'm gonna play this again with the EQ like this on, and then I'm just gonna take it off and just listen to how instantly how much better everything sounds. So obviously without that EQ, it sounds a lot better. But the thing is with that transition even, because it sounded so weird because of that phase cancellation, even when you first turn that off, it's confusing. Even though it does sound better overall and you you fixed the problem, at first your ears don't know what to make of it. Your brain is like trying to catch up to what the fuck just happened. So I know this got a little rambly, but I was just really mad at myself for not realizing that that was the problem immediately. This could have all been avoided if one when I opened the mix the next day, if I had just checked what that first EQ move was before I added another one. So remember guys, EQs work by manipulating phase. And if you do something stupid like this, you can completely ruin your track.